is not a review video. This is instead a uh, something I didn't realize was as big of an issue that turned out to be uh well I mean it's not so much anymore. I don't know, I'm I'm not keeping up to date with this stuff, but uh I ran into some stuff on the webs uh and just saw some Twitter shit. Apparently people are still, I mean, I, I knew leading up to it I heard about it, but I didn't think it was so bad that someone was going to make a freaking tracker to determine whether or not you were streaming this game in an attempt to give people tools to hunt down streamers and bully them. So guys, let's, let's have a little, a little talk here, because this game is beautiful. Um, so if you don't know what I'm referring to, it is the whole Jake Rowling being anti-trans, uh, I guess you could call it a debate, but it's not really, I mean, she's clearly anti-trans, there's nothing to debate there, but the people arguing that supporting this game is somehow just you supporting anti-trans stuff, which is ludicrous now you've you've seen people do this with uh, ender's game as well um because the maker the right book writer of ender's game uh was uh was very racist just blatantly racist um so this is nothing new these people like to go after medias because one individual and in a group project is terrible it's like failing the entire group in a research project because you know you don't like what what one person did in the group and so you fail everyone uh it's just not a good mentality to have guys um but we're gonna d dive a little bit deeper into this because this game kotaku's getting salty there's a lot of salty articles and this is why i feel like youtube is some of the sometimes the best place to get your reviews from uh Small YouTubers like me to some of the even bigger ones. Uh, Ircha does some good reviews. Ircha Gaming. Uh, there's tons of good reviewers out there that you can trust. Um, I would never trust anything like... What's that one guy that does the flammatory reviews? I don't find that person trustworthy. Uh, but regardless, um, there's a few bad reviewers. You just gotta, you gotta know what to look out for and stuff. Um, and basically every mainstream... You, uh, Peeves, you didn't pick up after yourself. Uh, it's just terrible. Um, but yeah. So, uh, this game... In, oh my god, wait, I forgot they had pumpkin stuff out. No way. Oh, that's so sick. Um, anyways. I'm getting sidetracked. Back to the heart of the man here. Okay. Fact number one. You, JK Rowling does get a cut of your money. But you know who else gets a cut of your money? The developers of this game. The the people who put some what the what the frick is that? That looks weird. I think I should be able to collect it. Anyways, uh there's tons of developers that worked on this ga game. I wouldn't be surprised. Let me look at Hold up, let me just show you the scope of this castle. But even though you've probably already seen it, you can only jump on your broom when you're in the outdoor sections. This is unlike any other game. There is so much love and detail in this game. Little bits of stuff on here. They got foliage on the castle walls. You can absorb every bit of this castle um, that you want. Uh, even this broom. Like, look at this broom. Look at the embers sparkling off of it. It's literally got smoke heat waves. There is so much painstaking detail. The you wanna know why I bought this game? I bought this game because I was sick and tired of Ubisoft open world games. Not that I play those, generally speaking. But it was what was that noise? Um, it was just like I did try to play uh on the Game Pass. I did try to play uh Far Cry 5, and I've already I played through Far Cry 3, and I liked it. But I, I've already played Far Cry 3, so why would I play Far Cry 5? I was trying to play it with a friend, but honestly, it just wasn't worth it. Um, so I'm just gonna mosey around on the broom while I talk here. Um, so J.K. Rowling had nothing to do with this game's creation. She wasn't involved in the creative process at all. So to 
then try to tell people that they support, you know, this thing. There's already tons of people talking about this, but I wanted, I, I've seen them mostly do joke skits, and I wanted to do a more serious discussion. Um, and you know, this is a very serious thing. Like, like people get your heads out of your butts. You know, you're not helping out the trans community by boycotting this game. And, and I mean, you can boycott it. Don't get me wrong. Boycott if you want. If you don't want to give her your money, that's your choice. Fine. Um, but like I said, you're also denying that money to to the creators of this game. Who are honestly, if you think about it, yeah, J.K. Rowling gets a little bit of money. Maybe from each game sale, maybe from total game sales. But you know where that money would be more useful going to? The people that make this game. The people who don't have millions of dollars already. You know? Um, that is my broom making that size. That's cool. Um, so distracted. Um, you know, it's just like... Like, like, sure, that person gets some, um, some money if you want to do it like individual sale. But all those individual sales, you know, that go to her from the sale of the game, also go to the publishing company that made this game. Um, uh, which probably would... I don't know if Porky Games is owned by her. I would imagine it would be. Um, but, uh... But, was it Avalanche Studios that made this game? I think it's Avalanche. Um, like, this game has already sold so well. Um, so, uh, obviously your boycott didn't work. Uh, which is, you know, fine. If you, it's your, your money's still not going to, to JK Trawling, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, so, and, and, tail, I wonder. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's fine. But the premise of this being like some sort of like anti trans game is just ridiculous. Um, and it just shows that you've never even bothered looking into the game and you're just hating on the game for no reason. Um, this game has a, a good set of diverse characters, um, you know, in the games. Uh, there's, you know, all sorts of, and they don't, and the side quests are really good too. The, the, unlike in other games uh, that honestly probably should deserve hate, I, I've, I mean, I've, I played, uh, what is it, I played Far Cry, and every single side character just seems like a shoot-in character with no death. But I feel like even the most, I, all the side characters so far felt like they have some depth in the game, and that's amazing. And uh, number number one fucking reason why y'all are barking up the wrong tree here. Where are you? Welcome. This is Sorora Kyle. Wait, is that is that Kyle? Yes, Miss Kyle. This is Sor Sorora Kyle. That's a transgender witch Folks right there. still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. This is a trans witch. For a game that's being labeled as transphobic, guys, why would they put tran oh, trans witch? By the way, she's very central to the story, kind of as a side character, but she's probably one of the more, you have to go for her and uh, and help her out. Of all the characters, because you can choose to screw over a lot of characters on the side quest, you actually have no option of screwing her over. Um, so even if you wanted to be a dick to the, the like the only, I don't know if she's the only trans character in this game, but she's definitely the most prominent one I've seen so far. I haven't gotten all the side quests done and stuff, so I can't say for sure. Um, but you cannot screw her over. There's nothing you can do to harm this woman. You can't harm NPCs anyways. She's, she's untouchable. So there's nothing you can do to get any ounce of trans hate on in this game like in the actual gameplay so you're really just hating on, on a woman who had nothing to do with this game and and denying you know denying yourself what this is honestly the best single player experience to come out so far in 2023 and most open world games these days are trash they're just bad Every single Ubisoft open world game is so bland, watered down. You know, it, it, I'm not saying this game is perfect, but to to just hate on it for that one thing is just disgusting. Um, but I guess this is what the world has come to. Like, I don't know, man. Like, like I don't know what else to say. Like, this game is so fantastic. So many little details in games the season changed so like an artist had to work on all this stuff 
Um, and the only reason I feel so compelled to talk about this, other than, because er honestly I didn't want to, Sometimes but I actually I bumped off. into someone uh, who who had these 